Hello again, I'm Rocky Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Enermax Maju 87 Plus 800 Watt Power Supply. What's included with this power supply is the user's manual, two Velcro tie downs, two case badges, a pouch for the modular leads, four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, a power cord clip, and the power cord. The power cord clip is designed to attach very easily to the back of the power supply. And this just holds the power cord into place more securely. The Maju 87 Plus series of power supplies are currently available in five wattages. 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900. I'll be reviewing the 800 watt model. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 120 watts and the 12 volt is 792 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Also some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well the plus 3.3 volt and the plus 5 volt rails are 24 amps each and there are four plus 12 volt rails which are 30 amps each with a combined maximum of 66 amps. There are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing. Generally speaking a medium to high end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If however you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. This power supply is 80 to 92% efficient at 20 to 100% load. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC or active power factor correction assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, 80 plus, NVIDIA SLI and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. This power supply is certified to meet 80 plus gold requirements and is NVIDIA SLI certified. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low-grade capacitors. This power supply uses Japanese capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside the case. Also, it's important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty. This power supply comes with a five-year warranty. Now let's have a closer look at this power supply. It has a black paint finish and the housing is steel. They include a 139 millimeter gold colored fan which has advanced fuzzy logic speed control for optimal cooling and minimum noise. Now this fan and the honeycomb ventilation ensures maximum cooling so the power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Also note that when the system is turned off, heat guard will keep the power supply fan running for 30 to 60 seconds to dissipate the remaining system heat. Here's the power cord connection and the power switch. This power supply has lots of leads. The motherboard leads and the PCI Express leads are hardwired into the power supply and can't be removed but the remaining are modular leads. Modular leads are fantastic because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup which reduces the cable mess inside the case 
and increases airflow. Note the 12 pin socket design for upcoming 10 pin and 12 pin connectors. And this power supply provides tight DC regulation to support C6 mode and hybrid graphic power saving mode thanks to its zero load design. Finally, have a listen to the 139 millimeter fan. Maybe you're in the market for a quality power supply, but you're having doubts on which one to get. Well, one thing's for sure, you cannot go wrong getting an Intermax power supply. I've had countless Intermax power supplies over the years and not one has failed on me yet. Knock on wood. They are quality power supplies. And this one is no exception. The Maju 87 Plus series of power supplies are available in a wide range, so you don't have to get this one, the 800 watt. You could get a 500, 600, 700, or an 800, or a 900 watt power supply if you want to. So you can get what wattage you want and not spend any extra money or unwanted money, and also not get any extra unwanted wattage. Of course, this power supply looks great, black and gold, has a gold colored fan, modular, and highly efficient, plus all kinds of other features. Without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.